for this one so well. Um, got this clip up here. I just thought this was this was sick. Speaking of V8 supercars, probably we're on the men with V8. Yeah, yeah, we're pissed off. <laughs> well, a lot of people have agreed with us yeah. actually. Let's be honest. We um, we're trying to call back any uh, <laughs> any chances for corporate tickets. <laughs> <laughs> but this has to be it's Gizzy um, winning some race. Yeah, and that's Adelaide 500. When he won the championship. It has to. Oh, I always thought Adelaide 500 was the first round, so I don't know what's going on with that anymore. But it probably has to be one of the best celebrations I think I've ever seen. Yeah. So. So what does he do? Does he get a Does he get a brick or something? How does he? Yeah. How does he? So if people are listening, he basically is doing a burnout. Yeah. Then puts it up against the wall. Put something on his throttle to just keep it doing a burnout naturally. Then he runs, grabs the trophy, and then jumps back in his car. Yeah. I'm surprised he had this much fuel left after his um, after the race as well. <laughs> Don't you have to provide a sample to the? Oh, maybe that might be F1. FIA. That's so sick. Isn't that the coolest thing? He's left his shoe on it. But bro, this is this is. Uh, yeah. The, oh, he has two, but that wouldn't be enough weight. No. He's he's awesome. There must be something in there, surely. Oh, how good's the Red Bull? Well. Yeah, that, and that car looks dope. Oh, look, the left the fans left the are running, the running on the track. Surely not, really. Yeah. So we do shit on V8 super cars. No, and hill. look, in all seriousness, um, this is probably one of the coolest celebrations so cool. I've ever yeah. seen. And we're big Gizzy fans. And we also hope that V8's the supercars get back to their prime days and we, yeah. and we don't we personally don't know what that is I actually don't know how they, they uh, I think as you said go, going from uh, free to wear yeah um, yeah, and, a lot, the, and a lot of people said that on our They did. We got a lot of response off that clip. It was amazing. Yeah. And the new Gen 3 cars, yeah. whatever, no one, no one's really um, taking a liking to them. Yeah. So but they, the other thing is, I, I was waiting for them to to get rid of these Holden because they had the Holden Commodore on the grid for three or four years after it was even or after it was axed. Yeah, and it was like that, the oh, shit. Shit. the damage. Yeah. So, who knows what the future holds for them? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> they've still got uh, people are still going to watch it but to maintain they need to maintain a supporter base to afford to go around and, and get fans to the race they're always going to have Bathurst people are always going to flock that that's always going to be sold out whatever cars are going around but it's just the other 18 rounds of the year what what they're going to do the biggest uh, thing that I read was free to wear the Gen 3 cars and just it's there's too much going on after racing. There's races on Saturdays, there's yeah. Sundays. Yeah. I think they just need to dumb it down. I think they need it this simpler. I don't see a problem with the Gen 3 cars. I think that that's a good thing. I think what people coming from is they're more unrelatable now. Because yeah. remember, the Commodore was a family car. Yeah. So you could have a V8 supercar that's yeah. basically right. take your kids to school in. Yeah. yeah, yeah and you yeah. can't have that anymore. No. Camaro or a Mustang. That's the big thing. Which... Look, maybe that's where time's obviously going, but that's yeah. not helping that series. No, not at all. That's the differences.